What's up you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to write equations for perpendicular bisectors, all right? So this problem right here says, write an equation of the perpendicular bisector of the segment with endpoints P and Q. So I already graphed P and Q right here. So you can basically break this problem down into four steps. The first step is just finding the midpoint of this segment. And to find the midpoint between two points, the formula that you use is x of 1 plus x of 2 over 2 and y of 1 plus y of 2 over 2. All right, so this is our x coordinate and this is our y coordinates. So let's label these. So let's say that this is x of 1, y of 1, and let's label this one as x of 2, y of 2. All right, so to find the midpoint, it's going to be equal to negative 2 plus 4, right, negative 2 plus 4 divided by 2, and our y's are going to be 3 plus 1 divided by 2. So then the midpoint is going to be at negative 2 plus 4 is equal to positive 2. So positive 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1, and 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2. So the midpoint is at 1 comma 2. So 1 comma 2. So we're going to say the midpoint is about right here at 1 comma 2. All right. So that's the first step. The second step is just finding the slope of this line right here. So to find the slope, we're going to find the difference in the y's over the difference in the x's. Or in other words, we can write that as y of 2 minus y of 1 over x of 2 minus x of 1. So this is going to be equal to 1 minus 3 over x of 2, which is 4 minus negative 2. So then this is going to be equal to negative 2 over 4 minus negative 2 is equal to uh, 4 plus 2, which is equal to 6. So this is equal to negative 1 third. All right. So that's the slope of this line right here. So now in order to find the slope of the perpendicular bisector, so the perpendicular bisector is going to look something like, if I can draw a straight line, there we go. It's going to look something like that. So it's a line that basically just intersects this other line at a 90 degree angle, right? So how do you find the slope of this line right here? Well, all you do is find the opposite reciprocal of this slope, the one that we just found of this given line. So the opposite reciprocal of this line would mean you take the opposite sign. So instead of negative, the slope of this one is going to be positive. And reciprocal just means you flip the fraction. So instead of 1 over 3, we're going to have 3 over 1. Okay, so the slope of this line is positive 3 over 1, which we can just write as 3. Okay, so the slope is equal to positive 3. Okay, so what do we know about this line right here? Well, we know the slope, and we also know one of the points that it runs through, which is right here at the midpoint, right? So we're going to use those two things to jump to step number 3. So we're going to use the slope intercept formula. So I'll just write it over here. Y is equal to mx plus b. And we're going to use these two pieces of information. So the midpoint and the slope to solve for b. So what do we know? We know that y is going to be equal to 2. And the slope is equal to positive 3. And x is equal to positive 1. And then we don't know what b is, right? So we'll say plus b. So then this is going to be 2 is equal to 3 plus b. Uh, we can just subtract 3 from both sides. So 2 minus 3 is equal to negative 1, right? So then here we get that negative 1 is equal to b. Okay, cool. So now that we know what b is equal to, now we can skip to our last step right here. And it's, again, just using the slope-intercept formula. So again, y is equal to mx plus b. And again, what do we know about our line? We know our slope and our point, but here we really just need the slope and b. So we're going to say that y is equal to 3x minus 1. All right, so then this is the equation of this perpendicular bisector. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.